Say hello to her. What observations can we make about the landscape, Nick, straight away out here? Well, we're on, we seem to be on a kind of bit of high land, uh, just adjacent to the old Clubstead Marshes. Uh, I haven't had to look at the view north northwest from here yet, but apparently you could see northeastwards towards Hainault, wasn't it? Uh, it was marshes until the mid-late 19th century. Mm. And in fact, uh, my old maps from 1952 and the early 60s show the land as being very open but now you've got Thamesmead and uh, and um, what's the prison called? Belmarsh. Belmarsh. Belmarsh prison. The Belmarsh. The Belmarsh. Well let's head to the marshes. Huh? Let's go. I came out here February about five years ago and uh, it was snowing and I saw the first Tusilago Fafara or Coltsfoot of the year in some marshes just east of here. You probably know it as Tushy Lucky Goan, that's another name for it. It's also called Sun Before Father because it comes into flower before the leaves come out. It used to be used for asthma cigarettes. I also had close contact with a fox just up by Crossness sewage plant. He climbed up onto the uh, outfall sewer and shared one of my chicken sandwiches with me. I remember he had a big black nose, very nice. The southern outfall estate lies somewhat east of Crossness Point, just beyond the boundary of the Royal Arsenal grounds. From the river all you see is a large jetty backed by numerous buildings and a tall chimney. From the land side it is not easy of approach for one has to face a long walk from Abbey Wood Station along the fringe of Erith Marsh. This road passes by several small works and market gardens as well as a curious caravan settlement where families dwell in all sorts of odd wheeled vehicles. So we we are actually heading towards the sewage works. Aren't this we? is heading directly towards the sewage works, probably about three or four fifths of a mile up ahead. We're approached Cross Nest Sewage Works. Wow, so we're, we're less than a mile away. It's not actually a very long walk this, is it? No, but we can tack a bit on the end if you want. Oh, no, I'm not. We've got, we've got to kind of turn right and go up towards Abbey Wood anyway. So what's that? Can we go and have a look at that, Nick? Yeah, sure. I've sat there and had a fag. In fact, I might sit down and have a fag again. That's amazing. You know, each place can have its own kind of inward-pointing identity. I don't mean in terms of being isolationist, but in terms of weighing the full measure and presence of the place and giving it its due, because I think it's very, very easy to walk past these places and sneer. We're approaching Terminus, where everything ends, where everybody who sat down today on the, um, on the porcelain portal ends at this place up ahead at Cross Ness, at Cross Ness Point. This is some of the most open land you'll see in urban London, I think, isn't it? I think it's the last outpost of Rus in Herb, <laughs> or Urban Rus. Yes, I think you're quite right, Nick. 